What's going on, everybody? I am the goods on YouTube. TG so good everywhere else to that. If you guys want to support on the Patreon, you can go to www.patreon.com backslash TG so good. Once you get over there, you can read about what is offered. All right, so jumping into Louis tweet NBA 2K23 hook offline modding tool available now. There's a link here. You do have to read this. If you guys go through these steps that I'm going to give you and they don't work for you, just completely remove the hook and play the game as normal. Always make sure your base game works before you try to use the hook or any mods. Make sure your, your base game can start up. You can get into a game. You can quit out a game. You can go into the mode that you want to use. We're going to go to this link. I'll try to have this direct link in the video description. Once you click on the link, it should look like this. This should be the little picture to the right. And there's a download button there. You can click the download button. Once you click the download button, it's gonna download for you into a zip folder. Uh, if you don't know what a zipped folder is, that's okay. It's the little folder. It, it should have like a zipper on the folder. Um, you have to unzip the contents of this into your main 2K23 directory. Now I know most of you know what a 2K23 directory is. Some of you may not because you may be newer and that's okay also. The 2K23 directory is simply where all of your original game files are. If you see this icon inside of the, a folder, then you're more than likely in the correct folder. If you are new to modding, you probably will not have any of these folders, okay? That's fine. There's multiple options. You can drop this folder over here, but if you drop the folder over there, you have to right click it, and then you have to do extract, it should be extract all, and then you have to make sure you put the correct place. You wanna take off this last little part, because you just want it to directly go into your 2K23 directory. If I click extract, see it's starting. But I already have the file. I'm just going to click skip. You got, I already have the file. And then once you're done, you would delete this zip folder from your 2K23 directory. I hope everything is clear to you guys. I'm saying things as clearly as I can, as clearly as I know how to. I'm not a professional teacher. If you can follow as best you can, I do understand sometimes this stuff can be confusing. I definitely understand because I get messed up sometimes. The other way that you can put the necessary files for the hook into this 2K23 directory is you can just double click on the zip folder and it'll show you these, these files and you can just drag and drop them in. But again, I already have these, Let's put them in there. And if you have old, uh, old version of that, of the hook, all the hook files and stuff, you can, you can back them up to back up something. If you want to back up files before you drag these over, just find these two files and back them up in another folder. All right. So, but once you're done getting these new files moved over here, I'm assuming that everybody who's doing this has already had the season six update. At this point, you will go, you can go to start the game up. And before the game starts, it's going to prompt you with an option. So you can go to do not initialize mods or you can initialize mods, which will well initialize the hook. I'm so sorry. I got to make sure I'm saying this stuff correctly. Make sure you read everything on this menu. I me myself personally, I'm not planning on playing my team online or playing against anybody using the 2k servers so i've chosen to initialize the hook my game starts up and i even tested it yesterday in the live stream you can check out the live streams on my channel if you would like it, i haven't crashed yet so that's good that means the new hook is working with uh the new hook is working with the season six update or later Okay. As of, as of this video, maybe at some point in a few months, it doesn't work. I don't know. But at the time of me making this video, it works. I know some of you are still new to modding and you want to know, okay, I watched all of this. I installed, I installed all of this, but how do I get mods? Okay. So you guys, like I said, you're not going to have most of these folders, but you should have at least one folder called mods. And when you double click on it, yours is probably going to be empty which is okay, that's okay. Inside of that mods folder is where you wanna put your mods. 
that you download. Well, how can I download mine? Well, you can go to different places such as NLSC because look, they even have a download section. They have download section and you can download mods from older games if you like. But if you click on 2K23, then you see you got jerseys, you got courts. I mean, it's not a lot of mods uploaded here directly, but if you click on forum, we click on forum and then go to 2K23 modding. Then you'll start to see people actually uh, giving links and talking about different mods, people asking questions, people getting help, different stuff like that. I have this PC basket roster that I really need to make a, a video on, but it keeps getting updated. So <laughs> anyway, um, but yeah, like you can download stuff like this. Now we'll require you to read. See, like this says there's a link. So there's plenty of mods out there and you can go to different websites and you can also use Google if you want. You can any search engine will work. You can say you can literally type in 2K23 mods. And then like 2K specialist pops up. If you type in 2K23 mods, some WWE mods might come up, but like 2K specialist comes up. Who else comes up? Shua Jota comes up. So there's mods here. But, you know, you click on a picture, you read, and then uh, most of the time it should be a fairly easy link to get to. Hopefully. I don't know how often those guys change their websites. But, yeah, and then NLSC came up in the search results. Also, you can search by image. I like to search by image sometimes. Like, you can find... You know, informative videos and uh, cyber faces, stuff like that. You can find people on Twitter um, that might have mods like me. But anyway, hopefully this video helped you all. If it didn't help you all, um, you can try to do a search on YouTube for for other videos like this. I'm not sure how many people are going to make videos. I don't know. I just try to make at least one video for everybody. So anyway, that is how you would get the hook installed and get mods. And once, oh, the thing about mods, I'll show you. Let me get to my downloads folder again. Like, let me find a mod because I know I've downloaded plenty of mods. So like, if I had a cyber face, these files here are, are a face. If I had a cyber face that I wanted to use, I would just drag and drop this from my downloads folder into my mods folder and then I, I have the mod in game. Now you do have to do additional steps for assigning cyber faces, but I, I've gone over how to assign cyber faces every year since 2K17. So I definitely have a video or two, but there are other people that also have videos on how to assign cyber faces. That will be a great help. 